<laughs> um, so we are in Albania. Um, and it's awesome. We love Albania and totally recommend it. Uh, it's a bit of a flight, <laughs> but definitely worth it if you want a vacation, can work remote, uh, want to relocate. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, uh, we came from the U.S. So as and have U.S. visas, so if you have a U.S. visa and you're still working remote or your position has gone long-term remote, uh, this is the place to be because it, the weather's awesome, the climate's great, the people are great. Um, they love Americans here, so that's always nice. Um, and our passports last an entire year uh, in Albania, so it's pretty cool. And it's very inexpensive um, compared to so many other of the surrounding destinations, uh, especially for a beautiful European summer like Greece, Italy, all those places um, are way more expensive than in Albania. And if you're on the Albanian Riviera, you get um, pretty much a very similar um, European vacation feel with beautiful beaches and sun and um, awesome people and great food. Um, so right now we are in Sarande, Albania, but this video is about Tehran. So chances are, if you are flying from the US or really flying at all um, into Albania, you're gonna have to stop into Tehran International Airport which um, is just about 30 minutes outside of downtown Tirana, Albania's capital. And we definitely recommend to take at least an extra day, if not a weekend or three days um, to explore the city. There's so much culture and history um, in the city and you know you can get a lot of it really just by walking around. So before we get into the city, a little bit about our travel. We flew Austrian Air. Um, I think still Austrian Air and Lufthansa are the two um, international uh, flights coming in from the US to Tirana um, and just to know if you are flying Austrian Air make sure to have a KN95 mask because they do require it for the entire flight and um, in the airport during your layover if you have one. Our total flight time was probably about nine and a half hours. Uh, we had about a three hour layover so added a little bit of time to it there um, and Albania is about seven hours ahead of the US. A few things about Albania, if you are looking to travel here, the climate is a Mediterranean climate, so temperature won't go anywhere below 20 degrees Fahrenheit to um, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but I'll put it right here. Um, and the currency is the Albanian lek, which is 100 lek to one US dollar, so it's pretty easy mathematical conversion in your head. And um, it's about, so that's about 0.8 euro to 100 lek. Um, if you are traveling in euros, euros or lek is very widely accepted here. Um, cash is king, so not a lot of places take credit card. Uh, unfortunately, if you're looking to rack up those points, the internet is pretty reliable. We've had maybe one or two issues, but it's been resolved very quickly. Um, but for the most part, fast and reliable. The language, uh, national language spoken here is Albanian. Uh, most of the younger uh, generation will have at least a little bit of English knowledge, if not a lot. Um, and uh, we haven't had an issue with language at all. Um, if when in doubt, just whip out your Google Translate. Um, Albania doesn't have a mass transportation system. So if you're not taking a taxi or you don't have a rental car um, or you don't want to hitchhike, um, the bus will be your best and cheapest form of transport or a fergan, which is basically um, just a van with several seats in it um, and they'll have the destination just printed on the windshield there and that's how you know um, you're on the right one. But we haven't had an issue just asking drivers um, if this was the right bus, when the right one comes. Um, you can't really book your tickets ahead of time. You just kind of have to I mean, ask your hotel or your hostel, you know, where the nearest bus station is. Everyone will point you in the right direction. You get there and you ask the driver. Um, it's That's just kind of how we've gotten along and we haven't had really any issues other than maybe sometimes having to wait a little bit for the bus. So there's a lot of Italian, Greek, Turkish uh, cuisine influences in Albania, especially near the Western coast. Safety-wise, have never felt threatened or anything, always felt safe. Um, Albanian people are just really nice. And um, I mean, we've hitchhiked and walked along the side of the roads and taken the bus and all those things and never felt unsafe. Uh, I've walked around by myself alone all the time <laughs> um, and it's, it's always been great. Um, no issues there. To get to Tirana from Tirana International Airport it's about 30 minutes driving. Uh, we had a taxi pre-arranged for our hotel that we stayed at um, and the taxi cost about 30 USD. 
but uh, you can take a bus. The bus is called Rhinos, Rhinos Express, I believe, and that is super cheap and only costs about $3. This video will show some of Skanderbeg Square, which you can get to very easily from the center of town. That's where all the buses go. Uh, it's a really great place to just sit, people watch, relax, um, get some uh, feeling of traditional Albanian, um, you know, day to day. And there's a lot of history there as well. So you'll see the clock tower, the National History Museum, a famous mosque, bunked art, which is this really cool interactive art exhibit um, built in an old school World War II bunker. There are also several parks to walk around and cafes, um, as well as a bazaar. So, so much to do. One of our favorite things to do was just to walk through some of the parks. Um, our favorite park was the Grand Park. This park is about as big as uh, Central Park in New York City and has uh, aquatic activities, a lake, um, a zoo. They built a whole brand new stadium, which Eric loved. <laughs> um, so you can just sit and lounge or walk through the park. Uh, either would be a great way to spend an afternoon. If you have enough time to venture outside the city, um, there's the Dati uh, Express, which are these amazing cable cars that take you all the way up to the top of Dati Mountain, which has some restaurants and fun activities and hiking at the top. Um, it's probably about 20 to 30 minutes drive outside the city, so not much. And I think the price, it's it's under about, it's under $10. Um, so just going up the cable cars themselves is a great experience. You just get these amazing views of the city. It's also Kruja Castle, um, and this is probably, take a little bit further, about 45 minutes outside the city, but um, the castle itself is a little bit in ruins, but it's just fabulous to walk around um, this, you know, very historic town and some of the museums. Uh, probably need about two to three hours uh, in Kruja, and then you can head back to the city or uh, be on your way. So to sum it all up, we have loved every second of Albania. We truly recommend at least a day or two, if not three, um, in Tirana, which is what you're going to see here shortly. And um, definitely some time in Sarande, which is where we are now, and I will be posting a video about Sarande um, in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, uh, we definitely recommend to, to check out Albania if you haven't. It. Uh, it's really this hidden gem, and um, take some time to uh, explore Tirana. There's so much rich culture and history there um, that really fascinated. Um, all of us and it was, it was great to see.